everyone. Welcome to my first ever Random Ramblings video. I am sorry I didn't get my Bookaholic Ramblings video done earlier. Unfortunately, this week has been crazy. So instead, I'll, we'll have to wait till next week to get that one put up. And I hope y'all will like the book I've got picked out for it. But today, I'm doing a Random Ramblings. And what this series of videos is going to be is multiple books that are either the same type of series, the same author, maybe genre or topic matter spotlight. So less of an individual book review and more of a, these are a bunch of books that are similar for X, Y, and Z. Today, I am bringing you this lovely series right here. And that is the DC Superhero Girls series of books. Now, if you've been down at uh, Girls Toy Isle lately, I'm sure you've seen these. They also have YouTube videos and um, specials through Netflix and stuff and Legos. And it's, I'll admit, it's a really cute idea. I love the fact that it's spotlighting, you know, the super heroines of the DC Universe in this cute high school um, setting and, you know, has lots of stories about you know, friendship and being a hero and things like that. So this is the book series. They are all by the author Lisa Yi, who's written a lot of other series as well. And so these started, I want to say last year's when they started coming out and just recently came out with their newest one. So let me do a little bit of each book to give you an idea. So it starts off with Wonder Woman when she goes from being homeschooled on Themyscira to joining Superhero High and all the fun that that entails. We've got Supergirl, which is, which is about, you know, when Kara just lands on Earth, so it's going from Krypton to Earth and then having no superpowers to having tons of superpowers. And her journey with that. Then comes Batgirl, and Batgirl is my favorite, if you can't tell. And it's her journey from being, you know, the protected da daughter of Commissioner Gordon with no superpowers to trying to find her own place in the world with this heart to serve and be a superhero. Then we've got Katana, which delves very deeply into her and her family and family lineage and upholding, you know, that honor of the family in the past with hers. We've got Harley Quinn, who's the jokester of the group. She's always cracking a joke. She's always having fun. And sometimes she's got to learn that there's good fun and then there's fun with a purpose. And then the last book that just came out was Bumblebee. And Bumblebee, much like Batgirl, doesn't inherently have superpowers, but she's got a smart mind and is very brilliant with her tech. So this one was a fun one about reading her, trying to figure out her place if she doesn't have the tech, is she truly a superhero? These are all really good reads. They're fairly easy reads. I'll show you a, one of the pages. They're written for upper middle grade. So for me, it's a real easy read, you know, just pop it, you know, just an hour maybe, something like that to read it. But it still has a great message about coming of age and friendships and what it means to truly be a superhero. And so, you know, like I said, I love it, but it's also good for young girls, probably, I'd say preteens, probably. It is an upper middle grade, it is a little more complex, and it does deal with a lot of high schoolers in a little more mature situations than, say, second grade. But otherwise, it's a really good series, it's got some great messages, so if you're looking for a quick, easy read, or you know of some girls that might be interested, I would highly recommend them. They're very sweet, they're very well written, and a really fun series. Anyways, thank y'all for joining me. I will have a Bookaholics Ramblings up next week, fingers crossed, and hopefully I'll have another Random Ramblings with another series or author next week. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!